a service that no one else in the area provides. That's what one charity near York says it offers. Peter Pan Nursery looks after children under five with disabilities, illnesses and learning difficulties to try and help them get the best start in life. Kids whose families are experiencing problems or who need respite and support are also cared for. The nursery has just been nominated for a £25,000 community award. I think we need, we desperately need the money to continue offering the service that we provide. There's nothing anywhere near uh, the area that, that offers the same service that we do. And the majority of the staff here um, are volunteers and the shop is run entirely by volunteers. But obviously with Ofsted we have to have so many members of staff that are qualified and trained to a certain standard um, and we run as tightly as we can so that we save as much money as we can but uh, then that means that we probably end up doing quite a bit in our spare time as well um, but uh, you know funding we can apply for funding for projects um, we've had a lovely new roof fitted we've had a lovely outdoor play area uh, we've had a new kitchen there are things that we can get funding for but just running costs nobody wants to give money for running costs so we do have to do fairs we have to dress up as silly elves and mrs santa claus and you know we we do have to do all the daft things just to get money in just to pay for water gas electric wages it's just ongoing really according to the office for national statistics there's 770,000 disabled children under the age of 16 in the UK. That's one child in 20. And specialist support across Yorkshire for the children with extra needs is sparse, according to Peter Pan. That's why they're such an asset to the community. And the staff love working at the nursery almost as much as the children enjoy going there. It is a fantastic job. It's a, it, you know, it, it's a job where you get the highs and the lows. You, some some people have always said to me, like, I couldn't work in somewhere like that. You see such children with such significant um, delays and you know such difficulty in the life. But that's not how I look at it because I see those children and I see potential and I see um, them flourishing and achieving even if it is just those tiny little next steps that they're achieving and they're smiling and they're happy and they're just pleased to be here and that's what keeps me going. I absolutely love my job and the children just put a big smile on my face every day. When I get bogged down with the paperwork in the office I only need to spend 10 minutes in the nursery with a child and I'm happy again just to see what, what, you know, what they're doing and what they're achieving. So yeah, it's, it's a privilege to be part of, of the family's lives. Each of the nominated charities will receive a grant from the Freemasons, but the public vote will determine how much they receive, ranging from £4,000 to £25,000. The voting period has begun and votes can be cast online up to the 31st of July. Anna Riley, That's TV.